I was here not long ago. Seems like yesterday. It was after Donovan had gone mad. He had uh, ended Yara and Dikaledi already. Ariadne and I decided to come here together, to protect the pillar. Yua was not much of a fighter, so she stayed behind. Ariadne and I fought, but Donovan was too strong. I, I barely survived. Ariadne didn't make it. She stood there, our greatest warrior, and she fell. Just like that, I fled back to the Nexus. Only saw you once after that. Welcome, Guardians! I am so honored to meet you. I'm Oren, explosives expert. Liam and Maka are setting up the refined explosives on the wall. I'm glad you made it here in one piece. Ever since Donovan killed Ariadne and this Kali monstrosity appeared, everything has been awful. We saw, yes. Oh, um, are you... Do you feel okay? 
Me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about me. Is the wall ready to explode? Yes, it should be. Once you're ready, you just need to go to the wall and shoot me a signal, okay? So, Guardian, ready to blow up the wall? Okay, whenever you're ready. They were all my friends. Yara was adventurous. She would accompany others on their expeditions for days. Everything sparked her curiosity. It's like she never lost that sense of wonder you get as a child. The Galedi was wise. He knew all sorts of things without ever reading a book. If you wanted advice on anything at all, you would go to him. Pratiba was a genius. I couldn't even begin to understand how his mind worked. But he helped the plane progress a lot with his ideas alone. He was afraid of fighting, but he did it anyway, when push came to shove. Raiko was so young. He arrived on the plane only two years ago, so eager to prove himself. He wanted to show he was a true guardian as well. I told him once that he didn't need to rush his learning. I guess I was wrong. Again. Ariadne was strong. She didn't socialize much, but she really cared about us. Like a big sister to everyone. Passionate in her own way. Our best fighter as well. Donovan was romantic. Before the betrayal, I mean. Extremely idealistic, always there to help, to show everyone that it all mattered. Death, life, it felt so important when he talked about it. He had a, a fire in him that was unique. And then there was Yua. Everyone loved her. She was one of those people who could take one simple look at you and know everything. She knew if you were lying, to others or to yourself. She knew what frightened you, what had you worried. And she would always help. Sometimes with a joke or with a kind gesture. You are was what I always dreamed of being. The only true hero amongst us. And she didn't even try to be one. All of them are gone now. What do I do with that? What do I do with all my friends? I wish I could have seen that before. Life out here is not so bad. Or it wasn't until Kali came and took over the premises. Entering the mines now is a suicide mission. But we're getting closer to the end of it. I have a good feeling about it. You know what bothers me most about Donovan? It's not only destroying the plane, but betraying those that cared about him. Lying to them for so long. I hate that. Friends, they should be at the center of it all. You should be able to trust them. Back with the living, 
I had a pet wolf. He was more than a pet. He was a companion. I loved him so much. I've been down here in the plain for a long time. But I still miss him dearly. Guess that just doesn't go away. I don't know a scene that well, but I can't help but feel like something's up. Like he's hiding something. He probably has too much on his mind. Just wants to protect us. Okay, go to the temple wall when you're ready. I know everything is a mess now, but before this, why did people run? You have all the time in the world to do whatever you want. This place is fascinating. You should look around, whenever you can, and see what it has to offer. If you have the tools and the opportunities, you can find ways to make it all nicer, less stressful. I wonder how much time has passed since I've been here. Well, on with another day! When I go back to the Nexus, I'll go eat whatever Kasago is cooking until I burst at the seams. Then, I'll get drunk at Sinestazina's and listen to some music. Maybe Imdeo and Sarita would agree to play some house beats for me. So, Guardian, ready to blow up the wall? Once it's done, there's no going back. Okay, whenever you're ready. So, Guardian, ready to blow up the wall? Once it's done, there's no going back. Well, you said it, boss. Hey, all! We've got an indestructible wall to blow up! Before we start... Here, take this. It's an armor pack I made. It will protect you from one hit, but it will take a moment to recharge. Pretty neat, huh? Well, guess the moment of truth has come. This'll be interesting. Maka, Liam, that's enough. I think you're gonna want to take cover. Ah, uh, it is what it is. Ready? Time to buckle up and blow up! Here comes the good part! Hey, make way! Right, our turn. We're almost there. One more time. Wait. Can you feel? Get ready. She's here. Die! 
Stefan! Tak! It's fragile! Use your brake lights! your light ray! Stop the rocks! Be careful! The darkness! It's coming back! Fight it!
I beg you! Again, go. You get to the pillar. I'll buy it sometime. Thank you. Come on, come on. saved us. Again. I need to rest a little. I am not pathetic, Lux. I am not. I'm not pathetic. I, I lied to you, Lux. I lied to everyone. There's something I need to tell you. Ariadne. She was strong. She was even stronger than Donovan. But he had gained so much power. When he arrived that day to turn off this pillar, Ariadne tried talking to Donovan, telling him to stop. She was still convinced she could help him get better. But he was too far gone. They both transformed into titans 
the fight was almost fair. But in the end, Ariadne started staggering and I, I stood there and her words, they have been stuck in my head ever since. She looked at me knowing what I had done, or rather, what I hadn't done. And she said it, you are pathetic. I'm sorry. 